We've got everything packed. Let's get it in the car. Phew, we made it just in time. Hey there, managers. What brings you here? We heard you're heading back to your own branch, so we wanted to say goodbye. We haven't known each other for long, but we've had quite a memorable time together, right? But, Zhu Yuan, weren't you supposed to be interviewed on stage for the seminar? Why did that officer with glasses go up instead? Belle was really looking forward to asking you questions, but you weren't there. I'm sorry, but we got assigned to a tricky case that day. I can't disclose the details, but it went well. Largely due to the clues you provided about the 6th Street EMP case. Oh, really? That's awesome. Oh yeah, we got you a gift. It's a movie about a public security officer. We appreciate it, but it's against regulations for officers to accept gifts from citizens. However, could I buy the video as a customer of Random Play? Of course. We'd be delighted to have you as a customer. They're getting ready to leave, so how about we check out the neighborhood and finally grab that meal we've been meaning to have? Oh, I never expected our time at the Lumina Branch to be so eventful. Things turned out okay. The seminar settled, case cracked, evidence secure. It's just a shame. The reports we have to write are gonna be lame. Uh, hmm? Is that supposed to be a poem? <laughs> Excuse me, someone's calling me. Hey, you've got time to chat during the day? Well, this is a rarity. Hello. I'm looking over our graduation album. You're flipping through our graduation album? Now? This isn't another one of your weird exercises, is it? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to remember all of the names of our old classmates by looking at these photos. By the way, do you still remember the graduation message you wrote for me? May you become the pursuant of true justice, the sharp blade of the law slicing through the wickedness of the night sky. Oh, all right, yet there's no need to shout. Someone might hear you. My apologies. It's just, this message really means a lot to me. How does the true justice mentioned in your message differ from regular justice? Is it comparable to the difference between an actual melon and a melon-flavored lollipop? Mm. Many people say they taste pretty much the same. But even though the melons I buy are hardly ever sweet, I still prefer the taste of real melons. Just like your pursuit of true justice. A real melon will always be a real melon. That can never be imitated. Are those words of encouragement? Well, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Wait, how does a member of hand like you know that I've been reprimanded by the precinct? Because the case of the unidentified monster discovered by Balabog Industries has been transferred to Section 6. My intelligence officer pointed out that we might need you to come in and provide some more detailed intel. So, that thing's in your custody? Are you telling me there's something wrong with the evidence? That's the reason why I'm calling you. We found pieces of what resembles a mask within the monster's remains and we managed to extract human DNA from it. Does this mean you figured out the origin of the monster? Unfortunately, no. Apart from determining the deceased as a male from the DNA, we compared it with DNA records of missing persons and criminals throughout the city, but found no matches. He may have been someone from outside the city with no known identity. Since Maroon risked going into the hollow to get it, there must be some secret on the deceased's body. I wouldn't think he's a nobody. I agree. But as of now, we're still missing the key to this puzzle. Thanks for the intel, Miyabi. Let's catch up in a few days. Mm-hmm. See you. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Judging from the conversation, I'm guessing there's some progress with the evidence over at hand? Seems so. They've made an important discovery, but that's only created more questions. Jump in, Chingyi. Let's talk more on the way. All right, let's go.